Well, this G4 may look exactly the same as the ones on the uh, previous two videos, but in fact it incorporates all of the learning. In fact, I'm a bit embarrassed that I could have ever imagined that this little gap at the side would be sufficient for the uh, feeding of the CPU cooler. So what I have now is uh, a case with a whole bunch of holes in the bottom there, and that actually feeds a duct system which I've created out of fiberglass, which it has the uh, CPU cooler uh, radiator fan system mounted on it. Actually, I'm going to show the duct, well, the um, the cavity of the ducting system. That's effectively the mould uh, that I built up a fiberglass housing on. And in a few moments, we'll uh, flip to the case before I'd built it up. And we'll be able to see where that cavity, uh, shrouded in a fiberglass mount, um, is, is, is situated. And in fact, that's it. So you can see the holes at the back and the bottom there uh, are, the, uh, are the areas where the air can flow into. Um, in a few seconds we should uh, see the, uh, the fiberglass mounting system so created out of uh, fiberglass using that mould. Um, this now sits and will be bolted and held in place, sealed in place with uh, some silicon sealant. Uh, so there that's a nice rigid structure on which the, uh, the fan will be able to draw air up through holes at the back and, and the bottom mostly from the bottom actually. So now I'll just uh, show you the case now that I've built it up here, sort of pop it open. You can see that the uh, CPU cooler is, is bolted to that uh, uh, fiberglass mount. Works very nicely. So there's plenty of space there up in front of the um, front of the power supply and uh, above the um, card reader bay to be able to fold all the pipe work. Oh, and the um, and the uh, thick power lines that go to the motherboard, so they can all be folded away into that space, and the case actually closes up incredibly well. Works very nicely, and in fact, actually, the most important thing is when you uh, when you're running this now that the the CPU cooler has has just plenty of airflow to it, and it really is able to do its job very very well. Running those video conversions that I did before. Uh, it's hardly making any noise, so the fans are going nowhere near full pelt. And this is the geometry of the um, of the mold system. I'll include a link to a PDF file for that in case anybody's interested in it. So it works very well. 